Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, we're at Aguirre Springs. That's the Oregon Mountains right there behind me or in front of me. Anyway, yeah, I finally got everything pretty well squared away. And I'm at site number 18 at Aguirre Springs, A-G-U-I-R-R-E, uh, east of Las Cruces on the way to Alamogordo. And I'll pan around here and I'll show you my site, but it's really beautiful here. I've been here several times and I do like it. Temperature right now appears about 70. It's a little after 11, probably 11.20. And I'm fixing to have my lunch here in just a little bit. Strictly off grid now, babe, 100% off grid, running on battery and uh, battery shows 13.1 volts so that's a uh, definitely a full battery and there's my campsite but look at the view out my window <laughs> is that nice oh god damn it oh yeah is that good yeah i'm gonna be here a while i think but anyway i was gonna zoom but it just makes the video shakier the view is great that's one thing you look for when you're a you're a boondocker or a camper or dry camper or whatever rv or of any type and do i have a view yeah you got to walk up to this shaded area where i'm at it's got a little table and a cover and so forth but we're going to walk down now but that's i'm set up right there the only downside of this site and i said it when i pulled in here earlier is uh it's not level it ain't level okay and you got to work at it to get it level i'm gonna have to walk down this is probably gonna be a little shaky oh okay but yeah we're, we're done we're set up uh yeah i got a good cell phone signal and i'm amazed at how much faster the signal is for the jet pack than it is for the phone. I mean, it's just awesome. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, there's my rocking chair and my stuff. And yeah, we're good here, we're good. And I'll show you something else. Whenever you park your RV, guys, gals, whoever, uh, before you unhook from your tow vehicle, always chalk the wheels, why? See that big rock right in front of that tire? I mean, I got it jammed in there. I took that other rock and beat it in there. Why? Because it's downhill that way, like that. Okay? So when it, if I'd unhooked it and not had the wheel chalked, it's going to want to roll forward. Okay? So just be careful with that. Just a quick little tip. And uh, but be that as it may, uh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, see, there's my, my new electric jack. Came in very, 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 very handy and we're this is as level as i could get it right here if you can see the bubble there it's we needed to go a little bit higher on the right but you know we're in the bubble zone okay and as far as the other deal the uh up and down that's easy peasy all you do is just hit that electric jack and that baby right there is dead center hello america yeah so am i liking this yeah i'm the only one here in this area so here's a campsite right here that doesn't mean it's not going to get crowded this weekend you understand but but yeah so there's a campsite there that could be taken is that it ain't gonna bother me unless they're just nuts which you know it can happen and then there's a campsite here but since there's no shade no one uses it the good thing is there's the trash cans right there which very convenient and then there's another campsite there there's several little campsites in here i'm in the loop there's also a road going out and there's two good campsites there on the way out and I thought about pulling down there and trying those. Uh, but this right here is one I, I get every now and then, not often. But it's just got the greatest view. Uh, you know, the sun uh, rises kind of uh, across this way. And then behind me, it sets. Uh, this time of the year, it's going to set right near these, in, these mountains, I believe. Right over those mountains. And that is so beautiful. See, so I, I'm into that. You know, and, and you know, whenever you're boon... But the... The flavor of boondocking or dry camping, I really enjoy. I really enjoy it. Why? I don't have any hookups, man. I, I got I got water in my tank. I got a full battery. Uh, you know, it's 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 it. You know, and I don't. My energy demands are so low that uh, that battery will last me five days without putting any charge in it at all. Or at least that's the way it was doing out in Del Rio. And you know, right now the refrigerator's on propane, working perfectly. And yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we got water. Yeah, we got power. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I got beer. Oh, got beer. Got wine, got wine, got wine. I got some frozen pizza. And I've got some stuff that I made in the, uh, what do you call it? The steamer th or the pressure cooker thing. The 
the something cooker, the buddy cooker, no, the thing cooker, the sounds like, uh, looks like, uh, instant pot. There you go. Yeah. But isn't that wonderful? That's my view, guys. This is my backyard. <laughs> God damn, it just gives me chills, man. Look at this. Shit, that's awesome, man. Get down home. Say, yeah. Now, that's my backyard, ladies and gentlemen, for as long as I want it. Uh, well, for two weeks, and then I can leave and come back. But yeah, after, let me tell you this. One thing about me, as you know, after a week or so, I'm ready to go anyway. So, you know, yeah. And, you know, the thing about a view like this is if you lived here all the time, you would take that for granted. In other words, you would just look at that in the morning like, hey, it's, there it is again. You know, but me, uh, yeah, I always have new views, basically. So we are set up at Aguirre Springs. And look at our little plant here we have. Yep, yeah, right here. Isn't that beautiful? My little plant. And it's got a little antenna so it can get a good Verizon signal for me. And is that good? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, and there's white sands. I'll zoom a little bit and show you white sands uh, where we've been before, if I can. How about that? You see that white right in here? That is white sands, okay? And this is the white sands missile range, okay? Every now and then they actually do test missiles here. And have I ever been here when they've done it? Yeah, but I was on the highway and they just closed the highway. I didn't get to see anything. And uh, yeah, there's a museum down there off to the right called the White Sands Missile Museum and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, well, this is pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, guys, I just thought I'd do this along with the other one since I showed you I arrived and now I'm set up and life's good. Let me zoom out so it doesn't shake you to death. And we'll walk out here in the road and I'll show you a picture of my Ram pickup we'll mm -hmm -hmm. with my Casita sit in a beautiful setting. Now this is, you know, if you were going to do a, a picture to put in a brochure of a casita, how about that? Huh? Would that work? Hell yes it would. There's a, there's a casita brochure picture right there. there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2019 casita. Freedom Deluxe that Rusty owns. Old Rusty. Good guy. Anyway guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime you want. If you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it does not cost you one penny. Drink plenty of water, stretch, take deep breaths, stand guard at the door of your mind. You know, do all those things and keep your health, guys. And you'll be out here doing this and enjoying the Oregon Mountains and the Gear Springs and all the other stuff that comes with it. There's not many bugs here, and the reason is because you get a nice breeze in here most of the time, and it keeps the bugs down to almost zero. Of course, there's flies every now and then. But anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.